Hello and welcome to today's video. So the other night I was fucking about in this RX-7 doing downhill on a Kina, but I wasn't trying to drift, I was also trying to race. You may have seen the shot that was from this. I was just going into the replays, messing about, changing weathers, trying to find something that looked good. And while I was doing it, I thought, man, I've never done a Kina uphill. So let's do that. And I was playing in VR at the time, so we're doing a Kina uphill in VR in the Nissan Pulsar GTI R, I believe it is, from the thumbnail. And we have some VR footage, some drone cam footage, and some third person footage. So this is my first time ever driving uphill on a Kina. And it's the first time ever driving this car not on Shotoku. We've been this car on there a few times, and I mean, it's pretty good in a straight line. But as soon as it comes to bends, like it goes through the bends fine, but you see, there's like something's bottoming out. You see, like the sparks then. I don't know if it's something to do with the wheels because it almost seems like it comes from, from the ground. Maybe like the rim is interfering with the ground or something. The tire model might be a bit off. Like, I don't know. But I've never noticed it because I've only ever driven in a straight line. But the car's pretty good, it's pretty playful actually. But like I said, this is my first time ever doing uphill. I've done many, many laps going downhill. So, you know, it's kind of like if you used to go drive Norschleifer backwards, I'm sure you would know the corners that are coming up. Like, it's pretty easy to do but you don't know how far and how fast to push it because it's still kind of new. But it was pretty fun. And like I said, I wanted to do something different rather than, you know, drifting. I wanted to do more of a, like a hill climb type thing. And this little car seemed to be the perfect choice. So here we go then, about to cross the line. I didn't have the timer up, so I reset, brought it up while we was in the pits. And the time was 4.34.5. And you know I like to challenge myself, so I actually tried to see if I could make it night and then try and beat my time. But then I remembered the headlights on this are like two small suns behind sheets of plastic. And I wasn't sure how good that would look for the video. So I went against that idea. I was like, I'll just do it like this, but try and get a clean run and beat my time. Starting again from now. Enjoy the video.
the finish and across the line is 429.9 so we took like five seconds off i think obviously with a little bit more practice we can definitely take some more off and it was pretty fun as well i'm probably going to try this on a few other tracks that i would normally do drifting on you know this mumiji sakuba there's a ton of them but yeah this was pretty good if you made it this far ggs if you enjoyed the video drop a like if you want to see more content like this, subscribe! Catch you in the next one!